it'll pop up. Okay. Like um, well, so just to recap, so we can kind of summarize the the conversations we had before recording, um, just so for the recording purpose, um, you know, chatted with Shelly and Christina here. Um, they have one location currently with three classrooms. They are working on expanding and opening up a second location that should be similar in size. Um, based out of California, and we are ready to dive into the demo here. So, ladies, I want to start off here. This is our dashboard. Um, this is going to be kind of your central hub as you're going throughout the day as, you know, staff are moving, children are moving, parents are coming in and out. Um, this is where you're going to see your movement happening. Um, this is going to be your live status tab that's here. So certainly, um, I already have everybody checked in for the day so we can see it kind of full, full and going. So this would be, you know, as you're, as you're already in for the day. Um, we can see here on the side, I've got my different classrooms here. Um, and again, you know, this is customizable, your colors, your, you know, I've got, you know, three classrooms here. This, of course, you'd put in, you know, the names you'd want here. Um, and then we can even scroll down. We can see who's going to be absent for the day. We've got children that are absent, uh, staff members that are absent. Based on those schedules that you put in, that stuff will all show on your dashboard mm -hmm. here. Um, some great pieces here. Being able to, again, if you guys decide you want to have those family connection pieces, those, those devices in the classroom, to be able to do those daily communications with parents. Um, you can actually click right here. And this is going to give you a QR code to be able to get those devices up and running. So with one click, um, you know, you're ready to kind of set up for the classroom and the teacher can just kind of set it up and go. Um, they've also got the option from the kiosk to be able to establish those as well. Um, but those are, we kind of make it, we want those, everything you'll see really throughout the software, we try to make it so it's one click and you're into something. Um, we kind of, at your have said we want it to be eyes up, not eyes down. So we don't mm -hmm. want teachers in the classroom or staff members sitting at the front desk with their eyes buried in the keyboard trying to find things. Um, we yeah. want it to be we want it to be user friendly, right? So that you're like one click here and it takes me right where I want to go. So same with you know I want to see a teacher. You know I can click right there, go right into her profile. So it's again oh. you know I'm not having to dig for stuff. Oh. You know. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, okay. So I'm going to take us back out to the dashboard. There's a few other pieces I want to cover here. Um, so we'll see in the top. This is our in, our inbox. Um, so this is your communication with parents back and forth. Um, and I'll, I'll, we've got one that says it needs a reply. That's going to have that little red there to kind of tell us, hey, we've got something we need to reply to. Um, but the great thing here, we can click on this. I'll show you the, what this looks like. You know, this is kind of a, it's a text sort of format. Um, and I'll even click in here so we can see this one set up similar to a chat like you'd have on your phone. Um, mm -hmm. And you can decide to do this to send just to one parent or you can send a mass email. Um, yeah. mass, not email sorry, message. So I I'll click over to the sent. Actually, I sent one earlier today just so we can see it. I sent out a hey, Monday's a holiday um, just so you could kind of see the example. So I sent it to all the parents in my system and just said, hey, send out this mass message. Um, to everybody there. So you're able to kind of have that communication. But here's the great thing is, you know, we're, we were finding with um, other companies, they have this component built in and it's coming to the classroom, it's coming to the teachers. And we were hearing a lot that those messages were getting, you know, not responded to, they weren't responded to appropriately, or, you know, yeah just yeah. altogether, mm -hmm. you know, not happy with with the with teachers kind of following yeah. through. And the reality is teachers have enough to do in the classroom. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so we, yeah. found, okay. we found that routing these messages to the front desk kind of makes that go a little easier. Yeah. So um, so that's there. That inbox lives on your dashboard. So you're able to kind of, again, click right into it when you've got a message. Um, we're able to see who's scheduled for staff and children. So that's kind of a quick glance at the top there. Um, if we've got people that are unplanned, that's going to be there again, one click in and we're able to <laughs> see. They, went unplanned. Like it was they weren't scheduled. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. 
Um, so again, one click in, that's how we like things, one click over. Um, so again, this is our live status. I will show you, we also have the scheduled. So this is gonna give you a snapshot for the whole day. Um, so you're able to see, you know, where teachers will end up if there's yeah. events that are scheduled for the day. All that's yeah, going to be there. And again, one quick glance. All right. <clears throat> I actually want to show you this. I'm going to force a problem to happen so we can see it here on the screen. So I'm actually going to move her. Um, with just a couple clicks, I can move her to this other classroom. And so I'm, I wanted to, this is what I wanted to happen. I wanted you to see these warnings. Um, so we can actually mouse over it in the corner and it's going to tell us, or we can click up here and the issues are also going to be explained here. So this is fluid through our system. Um, based on the teacher schedules that you put in, children's schedules that you put in, um, and how you kind of establish your system as far as your room sizes, your room ratios, all customizable, of course. And as you kind of establish those parameters that work in your center, the system is going to work with that information to tell you when you have a licensing violation or a recommendation for a better business mm -hmm. practice. Um, so that's what's going to coordinate with these colors. So the darker area, licensing violation, of course, no teacher with four children frowned upon, I think. I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, then, exactly. Yeah. They're happy yeah. with that. Yeah. And then the lighter <laughs> area, because of course I moved her, we now have two teachers with five children, not the best business practice. And, you know, maybe they're training, maybe there's some reason. Um, but the reality yeah. is you're able to see that all right here on your screen. Oh, because again, yeah. As, as people are coming in the building, you're not necessarily keeping track of, of every single classroom at every second of the of day. Yeah. yeah, but this tells you as people are coming in, because I'll actually, I'll show you the, the kiosk I've got here. So this is the kiosk and you can put this at the front desk. You can put it, um, you know, some people have it by the front door, some people have a front desk, you know, however, wherever and however you want to facilitate this, um, staff and parents, as they're put into the system, they're given a six digit pin. And so they're putting it here and then that's going to automate all of your checking in and checking out. So okay. again, as, as people are coming in, moving around, they're going to come in here on yeah. the, on the dashboard and be moving around. Yeah. It's going to give you that, that mm -hmm. full view of what's happening at all times. Does that make sense? So you do, you, do you do the kiosk and the six digit number or one or the other um so this is the kiosk we call it a kiosk that's the this feature here so if you scan the qr code that's if you want it to you don't want anybody to make contact with the actual oh, okay. device you're displaying it on they can scan the qr code and this will pop up the the pin pad oh so scan just, it and then oh, they'll push it'll, the pin yeah the or you can just type scan it on your phone yeah, so actually I'll show you. I've got a I've got a teacher pin to show you. Okay. So once I type that in, I Dawn's already checked in for the day. We can see her. She's right here. So if mm -hmm. I check her out, do you see how she moved? She now moved on the dashboard to now being checked out. So if I move mm -hmm. her again, say I want to check her in. Now oh, she's okay. up in the class. Oh, right she? here. You see oh, that? Okay. Yeah. So they they work together, and of course all of that is is noted on the profile. So if I actually go into her profile, I can click into her happenings, and I can see I've I've moved her a bunch, obviously, and it shows every time I've joined her in, every time I've checked her out, checked her in, I'm able to see all of her movements here. Right. So because we have what we do right now is we have a table out front where okay. they scan a QR code to sign their kids in and out. Mm -hmm. Now, would that be an option with this? Like the same thing too? Can yes. You do it from their phones? Yes. So that's what yeah, that's QR code, code and yeah. then it QR pops up the number. number. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's okay. what I want to make sure. Okay. Yeah. You'd scan the QR code with your phone. Yeah. And now if okay. the parents are already logged in, say they already have their login, um, mm -hmm. you know, their, their login on their phone already, um, mm -hmm. then they don't even have to put in their PIN because then they're all, they'll already be in the system. The system will recognize oh. them and give them okay. the option to check in or not. Um, okay. So yes, that's what the QR code there is for. And you don't have to do both. If you wanted to just do just pin pad, 
Um, again, customizable, you can take off the, the QR code if you don't want it to show. So options there okay. as well. But yes, so are you guys, you guys are currently using a system right now? We're using ProCare. ProCare, okay, perfect, okay. So is this something that would be, I mean, you don't, that I just get really confused with all this. Um, there's the, I guess this would be a type of a CRM. Is that, I don't know, I hear CRM. We have IntelliKids too. So we have IntelliKids. Yeah, so so it's, it, we are a management software, so we're not a CRM. So you would still want to keep IntelliKids. We would okay. Be in place, we would be in place of ProCare. So we are. Okay. We are the equivalent of ProCare. And so well, you guys do like, okay, payments. No, we're, we're better, but I mean, you know, I'm a little yeah. biased. <laughs> no, yeah, no, I, yeah, that's, I, I like, there was something about the demo that really caught my eye. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so. <clears throat> well, let's keep, uh, so on the dashboard, we'll, we'll keep explaining these pieces here. So here's the unpaid, um, you know, of course you want to know who owes, what so again one click in we can click on that red box balance um and this is going to actually transition us to reports so with one click we're right into the report of all the unpaid so it's going to show us that here we can also okay. with additional click take us to the aging breakdown so then we're able to see how long those balances have lived um and the great thing in our system you can again with with you're choosing, you're able to invite parents to use the system. They'll have their own parent portal. Um, so you would, under the adults here, it can actually show you. With just one click, there's the send invitation email here. That's gonna, so all you need, a name and an email to establish a parent in your system. Um, and actually with ProCare, because we're able to get into ProCare, we can actually go in there and pull all your information out for you. So Ooh. we can put all your parents and your kids and everything set up um so that we can kind of transition you over but so at the point that you're ready you can invite parents to use the system so again one click sends that invitation they set up their username they establish their password for themselves and then once they jump into the system they're able to pay their bills they're able to upload documents they're able to edit their contact information um, they're able to request programs if you have them built in um, so that they can pick the program that maybe, you know, applies to them if they want to transition to a new program or if they're enrolling a new child, um, they're able to request those programs as well. So a lot of stuff parents can do for themselves with just the access you give to them. <laughs> but I do want to go back. I want to show you that payment. So from the aging breakdown, um, we can actually make a payment right here. And now this is going to look very similar if a parent's doing it in their own profile, of course, they're able to make those payments too. It's going to look very similar. They're going to have the same sort of drop downs. Um, they're able to, if there's multi, multi um, unpaid services, you'll be able to pay all of them together, pay different ones. Um, you've got the choice there. You can even make a partial payment if I want to change this amount and only pay some of it, I can. Um, so you can click on the payment type. And I've got a lot of different options here. So the wallet is great. Um, this is something that we've built into SEER that we have found divorced families or families that want to kind of pre-deposit money. It's a way for them to either put money into the, the parent or put money into the child. And then you're actually able to pay services from that standing amount. Um, so we find, you know, mom and dad are separated. Mom's got her money in her wallet. Dad has his money in his wallet. They're able to set up automatic payments to go into the child. So then the child's tuition gets paid, but they don't see each other's transactions. Does that make sense? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or like I know in Tom's centers, um, he, has, he has said there's a bunch of parents that like they get that um, – refund money from like their taxes and they they don't trust mm. themselves with the money essentially um mm -hmm. and so they say like they bring in a big chunk and they're like you know i want to i want to put this down and be able to pay for services in my account so you know can i put this big chunk so that's what we do we, you know we put it in to their wow. wallet and then they're able to pay from that so okay Ooh. That's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, a unique feature that we've got there. So just to kind of see the, the process of the payment, I am going to go ahead and use a card. 
to make this payment. Um, we've got the box here that we can decide to check or uncheck. Um, this is for our universal auto payment. I call it our set it and forget it. So similar to like, you know, your phone bill or your water bill where you kind of attach your credit card or bank account and it automatically just pays it for yeah. you. Parents can still see all of those transactions, um, you know, as they're coming out, but it's a way for them to say, okay, this is what I want to use. I don't want to have to remember to do it. They set it and they forget it. So that option is there. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I will go ahead and just choose the parent. We'll choose, we've got a tester credit card in here. Ooh, and it's telling me my tester card's almost expired, see? <laughs> <laughs> um, and it will tell me when it does expire, it will turn red. So again, those, oh. those things are actually built into the system with your documents, um, with credit cards. So as things are, are coming to expire, they will show yellow and as things expire, they will show red. Because universally through our system, that dark red means, hey, it needs your attention. So we'll go ahead and process this. I want to show you how it's going to process it in real time. So it's going to show us it's processing. It's going to give me the OK. And I'm going to, I want you to take note the 275 over here, because we're paying the whole thing, is going to go away. So they're going to come off of the unpaid list. And then this total is going to update automatically for us. Oh, okay. So we can see it all happened in real time. The same thing would happen if the parents paid <coughs> and then I actually want to take you into our reports and I'm going to show you into our all payments. That payment we just made that 275, we can see it right mm. here. It's all documented. Same if I wanted okay. to click into her profile and see the payment on her end on the money, I can see it right there as well too. So parents are able to see it. You're able to print the report to show it. You've got it in all the areas you need it to be in. I know I just threw a lot of information at you. Any questions <laughs> yes. or is that okay? <laughs> no, I think that's good. Yeah. Good. Okay. <clears throat> all right. Um, so let's do, let's cover some scheduling because that's super important, I know. Um, again, being able to kind of have those pieces of, of knowing what's going on in your center. Scheduling is a huge piece. Um, so we are, we're able to see here, this is our, actually our staff scheduling. We can see the hours. It's going to tell us the hours that the teachers were scheduled. And then the red is going to tell us the hours that they actually worked. We can oh. mouse over here at the bottom and see the summary at a quick glance if we want to. And again, if at any point we wanted to see things in more detail, we can, of course, with one click, click right into her profile. Um, but here's the power, you know, being able to see all these schedules at once, being able to um, click right here, the button to unassign, plan an absence. Um, we can all do that right here from this screen. But the great thing is I can move to next week and adjust next week, or I can do the week after that, or the week after that. I can move as far ahead into the future as I want to, to be wow. able to get those scheduling, that scheduling piece completed. Yeah. Now with the scheduling are, it says like the time they work, are you able to put in like, say like their lunches, so they know when to take their lunch, if they can see that? Yes, so they would clock out of the system. So it would show checked out, or, you know, again, based on how you want to do your accounting, I guess if you didn't want them to clock out, um, then you could make a classroom that says like lunch and have them just kind of go to the lunch. Do you know what I mean? Um, right. It's going to depend on how you want to tabulate it. I, I suppose. Right. I guess my question was, are you able to like put it on there so they could see it? Like, so so-and-so is going to go to lunch from 1130 to 12 and then so-and-so. So that way they know. I just didn't know if that was. Not yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, I mean, of course, this is just a demo daycare. This is not, you yeah. know, a real life. But yes, yes, right. you're able to build in those schedules okay. to kind of show however you want, even multiple classrooms. I, of course, only have, you know, one teacher in one classroom here. But if you had mm -hmm. multiple teacher or if you had multiple classrooms on a teacher schedule, I'm trying to see if I have any that show. Mm -hmm. Like here, I've got one she's showing at the front desk and then she shows at the break room. They're going to show oh. separately like that here. Okay, perfect. Okay, yeah. yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's going to be your staff. We've got a similar sort of idea for the children. So it looks just the same, the actuals and the, you know, the, the scheduled. Um, you can move into the future with those as well, of course. 
Um, same blue button to make changes if you need to. Same with our classes. It's going to show the breakdown of the different schedules in each class. Again, being able to move into the future. If I want to come back to today, I just click today. Um, but yeah, so you're able to kind of build all those work and work harmoniously with a perfect schedule, right? Because, you know, because mm -hmm. childcare always has a perfect schedule. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it but never that's crazy, that's right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I do want to show you behind that scheduling. This is going to be a really powerful piece, and I'm going to actually extend it out to show me the week. I can see a day view. I can see a week view. But I want to show you this because, again, when building that schedule out and you know, filling in the pieces because goodness knows there's always a million pieces with scheduling. Um, this is going to help you identify those holes that are happening. So the ratios you see, that's going to tell you teachers to students and those colors, just like we saw on the dashboard are again, going to let you know when you have a licensing violation or you have, you know, a recommendation for maybe a better business practice. Um, so we're actually able to see those here. And the great thing too, can move right into the future. I can see next week, I can see the week after that. And so here's the great thing. So if I say, okay, the system's telling me from 7 a.m. to 8 a.m., I'm gonna need a teacher. Well, I don't have to go back to that scheduling tab if I want, I mean, I can if I want to, if I wanna look at the whole thing, or I can say, okay, tell me who I can assign right there. Oh, so okay. you click right on it. It's going to, again, based on those schedules, this, this, these components, yeah. these future telling components work best with the more information you put in, of course. So, so on a good day off, you'll know to put that person in. Yes. Yeah, so with okay. teacher schedules, children's schedules, it's going to automatically suggest who is free to take oh, that spot sure. first. Or you can scroll down to the bottom and other is going to be those teachers that are scheduled somewhere else already but you can maybe choose them if, if again, you kind of want to move a bunch of people around. If you want to fill that same, that same assignment for multiple days, you can actually click right here and then it'll actually populate for multiple days and not just this one, because this is obviously just referring mm -hmm. to this one day, one slot, but you can make it for multiple days. So that's scheduling insights. Any questions with that? No. Okay. Perfect. Um, take us back out. Um, so again, we talked about, you know, requests coming in from parents. Um, I can actually, we'll pop over just to show you that really quickly. I'll just show you this as I have set up to where if I was looking from my cell phone and this particular person, I picked her because she is not only a staff member, but she's a parent too. So I'm actually able to see both and I'm going to show you how quick okay. and easy it is for her to go back and forth. Um, so here we have her in as an adult. This is where I wanted to show you. So it looks very similar. This is your director login. This is what your parents going to see when they're logged in. Um, they're able to see their children. So I can actually click right here. That's really nice. I want to be able to book a program. I can here. Um, if I want to see the daily journal, I just click on to open. Um, and I can actually see here the, the entries that I've put in for her already today. I can even go back in the past. I didn't, I only had check-in times the day before. Here's the two days ago, I had her checked in. She went to the bathroom. She wasn't feeling well. I attached a photo. Um, parents are able to be able to see all this again from I there. I like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So again, if they had a balance, she doesn't have anything. So she can actually see she's all paid. If she had a balance, <laughs> she'd be able to click right on that. Here's her inbox. She can actually actually click here. Oh, see that, cool. that message, that group message I sent, that school is closed. Uh -huh. That's here. Mm -hmm. So she can click on it and respond if she wants. Um, but here's what I want to show you too, the ease of going back and forth. So I can switch accounts and say I want to go into her staff account. I don't have to log back out and log back in unless, you know, it wants to be difficult. Nice. Like, that's right. Okay. <laughs> But otherwise, it's it's usually just one click in. And that's how so, it to be, so like um on ProCare, we have ProCare and then we have Parent Connect. Okay. So those are two. We have to punch out of one to go to the other. So this mm, yeah, that's we're still able to do the same thing, but we don't we're not clicking anywhere else. Everything oh. is on one mm -hmm. for that's teachers and then for parents. Right. So here's her schedule. We can mm -hmm. actually see she was in 
two different classrooms today. She's got her scheduled for the whole yeah, like thing. She can see her schedule next week, see what she's assigned for. Yeah. Nice. Um, so super easy to kind of click back and forth again. She needs that kiosk pin. It's right there. Um, so really easy. She can edit her information for herself if she needs to. Um, but you know, stuff, stuff is all right here, quick and easy to use. So I do want to also show you here, going back to being the director at the top up here, the switch accounts, it's the same sort of idea. Cause you talk about, you know, this second location is coming and being able to have that visibility into that second location is going to be great. Cause here's the thing mm -hmm. you can sit on your couch, Shelly, and you can <laughs> say, I want to see this location, or I want to see this location. You don't have to log out and log back in, you can oh, click switch okay. accounts and you'll have both centers in here and you can just cool. click back and forth, see every transaction happening, see every, you know, child like that. and you're able to see every single thing happening in both locations at the same time. So. Yes, I like that. Mm -hmm. I, it is much simpler. Honestly, yeah. we, we still don't really know how to do a lot with ProCare. Okay. You know, we had, I had it for like two years before I even did anything with it. So oh, oh, okay. it's one of those things. But this does seem so much simpler for us and for the yeah. teachers and the parents. Yeah, because what yeah. I hear across the board, and I'm I, you know, I, I love to hear feedback, of course, because you know, ProCare with ProCare, people hear the name and because it's something they've heard for so long, they just assume it's the best thing. And right. honestly, it's very old and outdated and they've made it so that I hear all the time, people just have a hard time finding things. Like it's just not user friendly. And the reality- right. is I'm constantly having to call them and ask them, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, when you wanna find something, you don't wanna spend 10 minutes trying to find a report. Like you wanna yeah. just have it and you want it to be fast, you know? So. Um, so we've we've kept that in mind when designing this software because again we want those eyes up you know eyes up talking with parents eyes up dealing with children we don't want eyes down in devices like that's not that's not you doing what you really want to do anyway you know so and then sign like so if we needed to print out reports like for licensing our roster and things like that is that on here as well yep so when you come okay. to your report section if you make them a star, they'll show up in your favorites. So they'll be quick to get to here. This is going to okay. be, awesome. so you'll be able to kind of see yeah. the different divisions of the reports, or of course you can see them all at once. But here's the great thing, like that all payments we looked at, if you want to be able to export it, you can, you can present it as a PDF or a CSV. So then you can save it to your computer, you can print it, you can have the exact same information that's in the system here in you know whatever folder or documentation you need to present elsewhere it'll be the same and this lives Very on nice. every single report this export button lives on every single report mm -hmm. okay yeah. i'll say one of our issues is too is that our parents are always telling us i can't sign them in i can't sign them out it's not loading i'm like okay yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well there's and this is why this is why we like that we're web-based um, you know, you, you're logging in and you, you of course have to have Wi-Fi connection. That's, you know, a requirement, <laughs> but, but, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but with your Wi-Fi connection, as long as you've got a Wi-Fi connection, you know, we're able to be accessed on any device that you've got an internet connection. So you're able to use a laptop or a desktop or, a, you know, a tablet or a cell phone. Um, we find we hear, which is why we didn't make ours app based. Now we do have an app that we made just for parents so they can get the real time notification, but that's not mandatory. That's if they want the real time notifications. Otherwise, okay, so this is something that when they come to drop their child off, they can, we can have a tablet for them to just put their number in and not on their phone. Yes, yes. yes. That's okay. typically how people do the kiosk that I showed you here. This screen is normally on some sort of tablet by the front door. That's typically, that's how our okay. customers universally mm -hmm. pretty much have it. But again, you don't have to. I mean, you could put it on a monitor if you wanted to. I mean, you can display it however it works best for you guys, but <laughs> yeah, again, you you watched me log in. It's a matter of putting in your username, putting in your password, and then you're able to access it. And there's no cap on users. That's that's another thing I hear with these other softwares. You can only have like yeah. so many people logged in. You can only have yeah. people put in your system. And it's we don't we don't have any caps like that. It's unlimited uh, parents in the system, children in the system. You can have it up on 
you know, 20 different devices all running at once and it will all still work and talk to each other. Does that make sense? So what are the parents using to find, get all the information like the picture and everything? It's not on their phone? So it can be that. So that's actually, let me, this, this is actually a teacher tablet. So this is what you would have, you know, on some sort of device in the classroom. If you wanted teachers doing those, those real live communications as the days are going uh -huh. on. Um, so I can actually click the plus sign. I can actually see these entries here. So I can decide to put these in, like, say, I want to make a food entry. Uh, I can select all, I can <clears throat> just choose just who I want. I can put it in here. It's going to automatically fill in the time for me. I can adjust it if I need to. But then again, on that scheduling tab in here, we are able to pre-plan the, the meal items in ahead of time. So the breakfast, oh. the lunch, the snack. And actually, let me show you here. I'll show it's you like in the scheduling. Menus on there. See where we were in scheduling before? Here's your food oh. and here's your activities. You build them into the planner and then they come through to your family connection. So then as the teachers in the classroom, all they have to do is mark the bubbles and that's, that's nice. it. Okay, that's great. Yes. So you can add a meal item. If for some reason something got switched, you can still always make that adjustment here if you need to. There's a comment box if you need to be able to put a comment. You know, all the entries have the option to do the camera or to browse for a picture. And then here's a great feature too, on every single entry that gets put in on the children, no matter what it is, you have the option to make it public or make it private. So if you decide it's something you don't want parents to see, but you still want it to be put on the child's, you know, in the child's account or on their, you know, under their daily sheet, you can choose to make it private and then it'll be documented but it won't go to the parent. Does that make sense? Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. So now I want and to then, show you what, I'm, go ahead. Yeah, I was saying, so when parents are getting alerted about their journal, mm -hmm. then is that on their, they get, look at it? I'm just trying to, cause like right now they look at it on their phone cause we have mm -hmm. an app. Yep, the, so they can do it either way. They can pull up on their phone and they can just go to the internet and they go to child care seer and they log in and they can access it just on their web browser or again if they want those real-time notifications meaning like mm -hmm. i want to be notified literally every single time yeah. something is added they can download the app and the app will give them the real-time mm -hmm. notification okay otherwise so yeah they don't have to they don't have to have the app they can still just log into their account and see the daily sheet at any time does that make sense? And yeah, and as far as messaging to the parents back and forth, if we need to say, you know, hey, is there, can we do that on here too? And that would probably be more on their app. So that would actually be part of their login as well. They can, they can access it either way, either through the app or just on the, on the web browser. They're still able to do the messaging either way. Okay. They, okay, don't so the app, they don't have to have the app to do that. The only real benefit of the app is again, having those real time notifications. That's really okay. Like yeah. she was saying on here, when we send out like the group messages and like one parent responds back with a question or multiple, so we have to go to individually that on there, I could just respond back to one time and they all get the answer. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. gotcha. So I wanna show you where this travels. So I'm gonna put this entry in, it's gonna tell me it's added. And I'm actually going to come out because I actually want to show you where it goes. So we come to the dashboard and here's a feature we've built in that I can tell you for sure. Procare doesn't have, Brightwheel doesn't have, this is unique to us. We have what's called a waiting release. So you are able to see at the front desk and we have roles and permissions in the system. So you establish with your staff members who you want to be able to have privilege to see this information. So with, whoever is privileged so again i'm logged in as a director so i have full capabilities mm -hmm. to see everything i can see this food entry that i just put in i've got a countdown that i i have set mine to be 15 minutes you can adjust okay. that to be zero you can adjust it to be longer um you know full custom full customization here but this is going to give you transparency to see what's going to your parents before it actually oh, goes wow. to them so you see, Love it here. It. Uh, you mean like if they're the teachers are sending a message yes. and then that's yeah. letting us know we can prove. Okay. It. You're yep. And with one click this button right here, 
I can either say, okay, that looks great. I'm going to send it. Or I just let the timer run and it's going to send on its own. I can put it on hold. If like these ones down here, you see these two are on hold. That puts it on hold indefinitely until I decide what to do with it. Maybe I want to talk to a teacher. Maybe I want to show her the message and say, hey, so this I saw come through earlier and we need to chat about this. Or if I So it'll to alert us. It'll alert us. Yes, you get the you get the visibility to make make changes, you know, you can edit, you can change something on it, you can delete it all together. You have full power to be able to see everything before they go to parents. Yeah, you can just Yeah, I really like that. That's important. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we've had, yeah, we've looked at messages. It's like, oh my gosh. I mean, <laughs> yeah. So I, I do want to highlight a couple just other quick things while we're in the teacher tablet. So we saw where that entry went. So again, um, seeing these entries, these these ones at the top, these are going to be your classroom type entry. So again, on the daily sheet, it's going to mark, you know, if they've had the playground time, they've had meal times, you'll be able to establish those events as they're happening. And then at the bottom, these are going to be like child driven entries. So again, with just you can do with one child, multiple children, um, but you've got all the different options. So again, um, all those entries are, are one click in, you fill out the fields and it's quick and easy. That's going to be part of our live status. We also have upcoming. So this is going to tell us based on those schedules put into the system what's coming up for the day or if children are coming in or if a meal time is approaching that's what's going to show when you're upcoming Leave we've got the notebook. Yeah. yeah we've got the notebook here this is a way to just kind of put notes in the classroom so again they're not going to a specific child they're not going to a parent this is just hey i've got something i want to jot it down on the class tablet oh. put it in on the classroom that sits here in the notes um, and then the entries log, these these ones that I've put in, this one that we just put in is here at the top. We're able to see kind of the overall um, entries that have been put in recently. And then the last thing I want to show you here, um, this is our help button. And you'll notice this help button looks just the same as this help button here. And this is really great. This is one of those things that was one of my favorite features, to be very honest with you. I hear all the time across the board with all of our competitors that support is not the strongest thing that they do. And so we made it a priority to want to hear our customers and want to be there for them in the best way that makes sense. So again, on the teacher tablet and here as the director, I'm able to type right into this box um, and I click send and that will go right over to my support team. And you can say, hey, give me a call. Hey, send me an email or hey, I just want to make a suggestion. Whatever the case may be, you type it right in there. And when we receive it on this end, it's going to tell us the page that you're on. And obviously, we'll be able to then, you know, give you the call or send you an email. However you request that you want the help or the assistance, um, we're able to do that. And the great thing is you'll have our contact information. So, of course, you can call us or email us anytime. Um, but this we just found is a quick, quick and easy way that you didn't have to pull out the phone. You didn't have to switch over mm -hmm. to email. You can literally type right into this box and mm -hmm. be helped when you need it. Yeah, that's wow. nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, so one last thing I want to show you. I know we've we've gone over a lot. Um, I do want to show you. I, I actually am a fibber. Two quick things. I want to show you. <laughs> <laughs> I want to show you pricing. So this is where this is where you would establish your programs. You set up your programs, and of course, our support staff. When moving you over from ProCare, we would help you get all this in days of the week, hours, how you want to charge it. You know, it's all customizable. So we help you set that up. Um, we're able to do you know hourly care. We're able to put in rates for late fees. Um, that's all going to be here on this page. And then we've got add-ons, which would be items you would bill daily or charges and credits. Those would be things that you can apply to services at any point. Again, all that stuff's customizable. That's going to live under your pricing. So again, you can kind of set that stuff up as it works best for your center. Okay. Last thing I want to show you on the dashboard is our availability. This is super cool. This goes alongside with our schedule insights for helping you plan into the future. So I'm, I use the example 
a parent comes in, they've got a child that's already on maybe a two day, like a part time schedule, two day a week. <laughs> and they say, hey, I want a full five day schedule. Can you guys accommodate mm -hmm. that? You can say, hold on, let me look at my availability tab and Sear will tell me. <laughs> and you say, OK, so you can do a program enrollment. You pick the child. Um, you can say, OK, it's going to automatically give you the choices. And again, based on those, based on the programs that you put in, based on the age of the child, it's going to give you the recommended programs that are going to fit that child. So you can click the five days. So say I want to, you know, fill out the five days for her. I can pick the times here, um, fill all this out. Those add ons and those charges we talked about, those are here. So again, if I'm the director and I say, OK, I want to add her in. Let me put the times in so we can watch it happen because it's magic. And we got to watch it. So I'm going to do Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Wow. Um, I'm going to start her. We'll just say next week sometime. It's going to show me the price that I've already put in for the program, right? So if I say, OK, I want to add on some art supplies for her, that fee went up. If I say, OK, I want to put a registration fee on there. It's going to tell me again. That full wow. price. So I can say, OK, yeah, sure, Mom. Sure. I that's nice. What's that? I was just saying that's nice. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I can say, OK, sure. You know, I can fill all this in and I can put in the request right from this screen. And then this information here, you can actually see it's going to show the slots. So it's for every hour of the day I can see. So I've got two classrooms here. Um, mm -hmm. If I wanted to switch it so I could see all three, I can make it so I can see all three. Um, okay. If I wanted to just bring it down to one class, I could. But this is going to give me the breakdown again based on those teacher schedules and the children's schedules. You're able to see mm -hmm. exactly how many slots you have available for the entire day. The white down here is going to mean you don't have anything. So it's, you know, the varying degrees. You're able to mm -hmm. mouse over and see exactly what it is throughout the whole day. Yeah. And you can request it right here from this screen. So again, that request yeah. will then come over to your booking requests. This is where we talked about, you know, if parents are doing it on their end or you're doing it in the system here, you're going to be able to manage those requests as they come in. So I've got a full time. I've got a two hour. Um, I can click to manage them here. The, you know, with the, the review menu, if I want to edit, delete, um, that's going to be kind of how you then can manage your wait list. So if, say, a child wants the five day program and you're like, I can't really accommodate it right now, you put them on the wait list. You can manage the wait list in here. Um, you can score them, which will rank them to kind of put uh, in your mind the position of who maybe to take next. Mm. Um, see all the information. And again, the great thing here, you move you, with one click, you're able to do all these different options with that with that wait list request. And when it gets moved, so say that re say the parent requested on their end in their parent portal. Um, you're going to get the request and then if you approve it or decline it, it's going to automatically notify the, that parent that that's happened. Oh, wow. Okay. okay. Yeah. That's great. So all done for you automatically. Wow. Less headache, of course. You know, we want to make things as easy as possible. So. Wow. So that's, I think that's, I mean, honestly, there's so much wow. more to show, of course. It's a very complex um rich not complex that sounds like a negative word we'll go with yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's a rich and full product that i'm very proud of um so there's a lot to see and do of course and all the pieces honestly you know you choose what you want to do what you want to use you know we have people that say i don't want to invite my parents we have people that say i don't want to use a kiosk you know it's it's all the pieces you choose to to use and make work for you so we make it so you don't have to do every single piece you build it as it's going to work for you and our support team of course is there to kind of help you through the whole process so um candy real quick on when people are doing their monies you know mm -hmm. with when they're doing their payments Mm -hmm. Is there like a, a, is that an additional fee through SEER, like for the transactions? The there is an ACH fee, which. ACH, I mean, is, yeah. Yeah, which is standard across the board, no matter who you use. Right. Because everybody obviously outsources those payments. So ACH has a fee and credit cards have a fee. Yes. But okay. here's the great thing is in our software, you can. We don't let you do it yourself. You would tell us how you want to establish it and you can switch it at any point if you want to, but you're actually able to pass those fees to parents if you don't want to take them on the center yourself. So you have that option. 
So able to do what? You're able to pass those fees. So we find like, oh. so as an example, Tom builds into his tuition, he builds in automatically the price of the credit card. So he's not paying, he's not charging the parents for them. So some customers want to do that. And then they take on the fees for the center themselves. Or if you say, I want to pass it to parents, the parents will see the charge that's due. And then underneath of it, it'll say, you know, credit card fee. And they'll, so they'll have the two charges when they're going to pay it instead of just the one. Does that okay. make sense? Yep. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yep. But that's standard. I mean, again, doesn't matter. Oh, yeah. Those, those fees are always kind of, you know, one of those things that can't really be avoided. So, you know, <laughs> that's just kind of how that goes. But, well, I'm going to. Maybe I'm going to stop sharing my screen. Okay. So now you get to see my face again. Um, <laughs> so, well, here's the great thing I can tell you. We've got templates that you're able to send out to your parents to mm -hmm. give them the idea of like, hey, we are switching systems. Um, we have, of course, on our website, we've got videos, we've got help tutorials, we've got information that can help make the transition more seamless. But honestly, our support, again, we don't just, we don't sign you up, drop you in and like leave you. That's <laughs> right. how we do things, of course. So, you know, having ProCare is great because again, we can go in, you know, it's not like you, you're working at paper here. That's would be much right. more of a task, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. So you already have an automated system, which is great because we can go in, suck that stuff out, put it into the new system. Um, and then again, help you kind of set up those programs and stuff like that. Um, so we really, we make it, we make right. it as easy as we can. I mean, it still is going to take time, of course, not a lot. We can get you up and going very quickly if we need to, um, okay. but it's a matter of what's going to work at your pace. So yeah. it's, it's all, it's all billed monthly. We don't lock you into any contracts. So again, that, since you're growing, keeping that in mind, um, our pricing is per location, so opening that second location. The great thing about us, because we're not locking you into anything, say you start that second location, you start with the base product, and then you have that family connection piece. You want to start with one classroom, you just pay for one. Say the next month you want to add a second classroom, then you pay for two. So we're not locking okay. you into anything initially. You kind of build and grow as it makes sense for you. Okay. Uh, that's a good idea because I yeah. won't have all the kids full. Yeah, like, exactly. Oh, I mean, I have. And it's not because nice I'm a yeah, full overnight, not, but <laughs> it wouldn't be fair if we charge you for a full center and you're not up and ready for okay. a full center yet. That's you know? Great. So, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. One more thing, Candy, real quick. Sorry. So, um, when I'm at home working on my computer, I mm -hmm. can get on and access ProCare. Is, is that the same thing? Am I going to be able to access this at home and be at our school school too? Yeah. Okay. Yes. You can have it logged in on as many devices as you'd yeah. like. It's a matter and of up a web browser. At the same time, we can be on it. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. a big one because right now I have to be on separate. I have to yeah. tell her close the computer <laughs> so I can. <laughs> I gotta write things down. No, we don't, you, we're not kicking anybody out of the system. You you can all mm. use it at the same time. It'll be great. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. great. Thank you, Candy. All right. You guys have a good Bye. evening, and I will talk with you soon. Okay. Thank okay, you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.